Welcome to this video in the Mastering the Marketplace series. My name is David Starr and in this module you'll experience the customer's point of view when subscribing to a SaaS offer. Visit the URL on your screen for more content about all marketplace offer types to include videos, hands-on labs, and sample code. Let's see what we're going to cover in this video. We're going to look at subscribing from the Azure Marketplace. You'll see a start to finish process of subscribing to an offer that's published in the Azure Marketplace. And next, we'll have a look at subscribing to SaaS offers from within the Azure portal. The two experiences are very, very similar, and we won't need to go too deep into the Azure portal experience because it really reflects that of the Azure Marketplace. Now with that, let's get started. We're gonna first take a look at subscribing to a SaaS offer from the Azure Marketplace. Now the first thing we may want to do is find an offer to which we want to subscribe, of course, and in my case, I do and I'm going to subscribe to the Contoso image resizing service. This is a demo, of course. One's typically not gonna to pay to resize images. But let's take a look first at the plans and pricing. Now it turns out there are many plans and pricing that go along with this offer. You can see that the publisher has set it up in terms of the billing periods and tiers of service. So with a gold subscription, you can have a one-time payment, and that includes resizing these image types. In addition to a one-time payment, the publisher has set up a annual payment option, and down here, a monthly payment option. You can see that these prices are different based on whether I'm choosing one-time payment, annual payment, etc., There's also a charge per resize, meaning every time we resize an image, in addition to the base price, there's going to be an incremental charge, in this case, of one penny. Now, we can move down past our gold offers and see that we have silver tier offers as well. They are specifically able to process PNGs and GIFs, so the cost per one-time payment, per annual payment, and per monthly payment is a little bit different in this case. And with each of these, we can select Get It Now. And you can see here we're moving down into the bronze tier. But I'm going to select Get It Now from this button. And the first thing that it's going to ask me to do, the marketplace, is to sign in because I'm not currently signed in and I'll go ahead and do so. Now that we have logged in and hit get it now, I'm gonna show the fact that we can see all of those different plans here in one dropdown and we can select any one of them. I'm going to select the silver plan with an annual payment. And again, we get a chance to look at that larger set of descriptions in plans and pricing, but I'll just go ahead and select silver annual payment and subscribe to this. When I subscribe to a SaaS offer, I'm going to receive in my tenant, in my subscription, a SaaS instance, a SaaS object. And I need a place to put that. So I could create a new resource group here, but in my case, I've already got a resource group in which I like to put my purchases, I'll put it here. And then we give our subscription a name. And so I'm gonna call this Contoso Image Resize. What's important to note down here as we move down is that I can still change my plan. I'm choosing silver annual payment of one year. I'm going to take this time to actually change my plan. I'm gonna to upgrade to the gold annual payment plan. I'll change plan and you may have noticed that my pricing payment frequency and my subtotal changed down here. The same can happen when I elect my billing term of two years. And I'm gonna get a bit of a discount from this publisher should I sign up for a two year plan. If I sign up for a three year plan, I get a bit more of a discount. So that's kind of how many publishers will set up their tiered pricing models so that 
the billing terms reflect different prices. Notice the chance that I get to review the subtotal that I'll be charged down here. And next I can apply tags if I want to the subscription instance I'm about to create. The last thing I do in this process is hit review and subscribe. Note I get one more chance to review all of the pricing and billing term information that I would like to use. We've got the gold annual payment, three year term at $835 a year, which includes 500 imagery sizings and then one penny for each additional one that I resize after that. I'm not going to actually hit subscribe here because if I did, of course, that would charge me for this offer. And I don't want to get charged for this offer, but that's the process of going through the purchase of a public SaaS offer from within the Azure marketplace. The next thing we're going to do is have a very brief look at what it looks like to subscribe from within the Azure portal instead of the marketplace. Here we are in the Azure portal, and there are a few places that I can choose to start my purchase experience. One is right here, create a resource. Alternatively, I can select create a resource from the leftmost menu, which will always be there. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, I'm going to select that resizing service. And you can see that I'm put right back into the same purchase experience we saw a moment ago, I can choose my plan, select subscribe, and I get that last chance to change my plan, a billing term. I'm going to go for a two year billing term and I see my subtotal down here at the bottom. And again, I select review and subscribe to follow through with making the purchase. All right. What did we see there? Well, we saw what it looks like to actually go through the complete subscription process for a SaaS offer. And we saw that we can purchase SaaS offers, not just from within the Azure marketplace, but also from directly within the Azure portal. And we'll get very similar, if not the same purchase experience going through these two purchase flows.